Hi, my name is Heidi March, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a sex offender search for the state of Kansas. Now, this can be a more dense or sensitive search to perform, but this can also be important information to know in many different scenarios. Just for some background information, the dictionary definition of a sex offender is a person who commits a crime involving a sexual act. So it can be crucial for people to know if someone has been convicted as a sex offender, if they are maybe looking to move to a new area, or if an employer wants to do a background check on a potential employee. Thanks to Megan's Law, a law that was passed in the United States, all information regarding registered sex offenders must be public, which is why we can perform this search today. This search is pretty simple and pretty straightforward to perform. You type in Kansas Sex Offender Search into the search bar, then select the first website that comes up, which is from the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. There is a disclaimer that comes up first, saying the information has been made public and that it is updated every 15 minutes to make sure it's accurate. From this website, you can choose to do a national sex offender search or a Kansas-specific offender search, which is what we're going to use today. The same disclaimer shows up again, then you select I agree to continue to the search. I'm going to use a fictional name of someone that certainly doesn't live in Kansas and go with Donald Duck. I typed in the last name first, then the first name. Then you can choose to find compliant reports or non-compliant reports or both. You can also search for general charges, drug charges, violent charges, or sex charges, which is what we're going to focus on for this purpose. Obviously, there were no results found with the name Donald Duck, so now we're going to clear the form and start again. I'm using the last name Doe and the first name John, and we're going to focus on sex-related charges this time, and then you click search and it will pull up your results. When you find your results, you can see a picture, their real name, their primary residence, and their aliases or other names that they might be under. With this search, you can also see things like the offender's age, weight, height, hair color, their offenses, and many other different pieces of information. You can also see things like their scars, tattoos if they have any, vehicle information, and boat information if they have a boat or a vehicle. I hope this tutorial can be of some use. Thanks for watching and happy searching.